What's up guys? At my office here, AKA Bel Air Fitness. Fixing to go in and do some work. We first brought you the inspiring story of Karsten Brogan back in 2013 when he was just 17 years old. In 1995, when Karsten was born, CT scans revealed the unbelievable. He was born with two thirds of his brain missing. A condition called hydrocephalus macrocephaly. It's the buildup of too much cerebrospinal fluid on the brain. In the beginning, his parents were told that he'd never live a normal life, but they believed otherwise. When you know God's got this, it's easy to be at peace in your heart, even though your mommy's side sheds a few tears. A lifetime filled with endless prayer and up to 17 surgeries. We like to compare the story of his life to David and Goliath. His Goliath has been his medical challenges. Karsten's brain made a miraculous comeback. So did Karsten. He competed in the Junior Worlds competition and brought home four medals. While in France, the family's faith would be tested yet again. Karsten suffered from strenuous headaches and constant vomiting, which led to even more surgeries. Uh, well, I've actually had 11 uh, since the last time you guys have talked to me. We realized that he really was draining too much, so he was draining too much spinal fluid off the brain and that was making him feel so sick. That's when Dr. Christina Notoriani approached the family with a procedure that she'd never done before. We were going to add a new device called an anti-siphon device. The new device would help regulate the spinal fluid flow from the brain. Her exact words were, I've never done this before, but I'm willing to try. And that's all Karsten needed to hear. Just like it says, you know, in, in 2 Timothy 1, 7, it says, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of love, power, and of sound mind. That's a scripture he leans on every time he walks through those hospital doors. The procedure went well, and after several other minor surgeries, Karsten is healthy and competing again. Yeah, and so, thank you. Awesome deal. Yes. And that was so rewarding to hear about and to see uh, that, you know, he really got back in it and started, you know, his training again. But for Karsten, he approached it like any other race and he plans to remain positive until the finish. I've had a lot of people, you know, they'll ask me, okay, well, you know, if God is so good, then why did he do this to me? Why did he let it happen? And why are you the way that you are? No, I Father God, run for me and through me. Let's go. His answer was simple. I looked at it as, you know, an opportunity. Every time, you know, I'll get, you know, I'll, I'll have to go back into the hospital or, you know, I'll have to stop training because, you know, I'll have this surgery or that surgery coming up. It's really, you know, okay, God, who do you have for me to tell my story, you know, in the hospital? Karsten is now sharing his story with others, and he wants to attend the School of Ministry, the LA Dream Center in Los Angeles. But before he leaves Louisiana and sets out on his new journey, he stopped by University Health and saw a few familiar faces. Hey, guys, come here, guys. Hey, how's it going? And he's a great kid, and he's been a real inspiration for a lot of us, and it's great to see him still working hard and, and trying to reach his goals of being an Olympic athlete. And uh, just to see him doing so well right now is, is really, it brings joy to my heart. Oh, he's pretty sweet. <laughs> he's got a lot of personality, for sure. Very athletic and very impressive for the kind of things that he's had to go through in his life. Carson says track and life are synonymous, so make sure you give it all you got. When you're in the blocks, and the, you know, and the gun's about to go off, the gun goes off, even enough to get around that last corner to, you know, to bring it on home, to, you know, to cross the finish line, is when life hits you the most. And then I, I kept running both on the track and in life.